wasting any dreams this Christmas. I've made my wish upon that star. The only dream of which my list consists is to always be wherever. Yeah, there will be no praying for the snow to fall. It would not make a difference to me at all. No, I'm not wasting any dreams. This Christmas, I've made my wish, and it came. This is my last vlog of 2023 and yes that was Lydia's intro but this is definitely one of my videos. Before we get into today's video I just wanted to take the opportunity to wish each and every one of you a wonderful restful festive break. For those of you that are taking some time off with loved ones I hope that it's filled with laughter and you make some lovely memories because it is a really magical time of year. And for those of you that are going to be working through the festive holidays. I also just want to extend my appreciation for your dedication to keeping things running smoothly as the majority of us all relax and stick our feet up. It doesn't go unnoticed. I know that many people have job roles that don't facilitate them or give them the opportunity to take time off over the holidays and I know that many of us benefit from the efforts and time that goes in to those job roles, so it is greatly appreciated. I know the holiday season can also be incredibly tough and difficult for many, and so I want to encourage everybody to be kind, empathetic, and mindful of that as well, because I think it's a nice time of year for us to really be conscious and spread kindness throughout. So they're the messages that I wanted to share before we get into today's video. And I also wanted to thank you all for your unwavering support throughout 2023. It's so nice reading all of your comments. I know I'm not the best at responding to comments, but I definitely read them. And I'm very grateful for the love and support and the encouragement that you always give. There is a really lovely community here on YouTube. And I just wanted to say that I hope you've enjoyed the experiences and the adventures that we've been through throughout this year, it just seems to go past, faster and faster. And I know as you get older, this is what people say, but it really does feel like the years are just flying by. So cherishing and making the most of those moments. I know that Lids and I are going to be taking as much time as possible to just recoup, re-energize and spend time with our loved ones. We're really looking forward to some time off and may the holiday season bring you lots of joy. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Let's get into today's video. Very Merry Christmas from the ladies. Should we have an end of year celebratory run? Come on in. <laughs> oh. Come on! Cheek cheek! You're so fast! Well done. And a very Merry Christmas from the boys. And of course, a very Merry Christmas from Her Ladyship. Ah, scratch post. Yesterday evening, Lids and I took order of a brand new bed for the guest bedroom. So as you can see, just situated in the room, we have a brand new backboard bed and frame, which is going to be assembled later on this afternoon right here. So my task this morning is to remove this bed from the bedroom to clear the space ahead of that. So I'll be checking back in with you when we have our brand new bed just here. 
And there we have it, our brand new bed has been installed and it looks absolutely spectacular. Lydia's got such a great eye for putting tones, fabrics and colours together. I'm going to be honest, I'm always a little bit doubtful when she starts to do any projects around the house and I'm like, oh, I'm not sure. But slowly but surely it's starting to come together and I'm really enjoying it. It's going to be one of the most playful and slightly louder rooms in the house, but I can see her vision coming together right now. Those of you with an eagle eye may have noticed that there is no mattress on the bed, but fear not, we have that covered. Oh, just before we get into the mattress, right here you'll see that we have also had a curtain pole and the gingham curtains put up as well. They look great. They are currently being pinned back just to help them hold. I believe this is to do with keeping the shape of the curtain, so we'll leave them like this for as long as we can. But they're a nice muted green, they're very soft, and they just work really nicely with the room. In perfect timing, today's partnership is with Emma Sleep. And right in front of you, we have the Emma Sleep Next Gen Premium Mattress. We also have the Four Season Duvet and the Mattress Protector, all from Emma Sleep. And so I'm gonna get busy unboxing this, and then we will then hopefully try and find some time, because we are a bit pushed for time today, to make the bed as well, because we do have guests staying this evening. Mr. Kenny Ken is going to christen the bed for us, which he will take great Great pleasure in. Snug as a bug. So this right here is the mattress protector. And I think that this is something that is often overlooked, but really important, especially when you're investing in a good mattress, because it will help protect against any accidents and stains that may take place on the bed, particularly when you have a little bengal in the household. So this is going to be a very little welcomed addition to the Emma mattress. So the mattress protector is on. Of course, if you were to use a topper, which sometimes Liz and I do like to put toppers on our beds, I have to be honest with you, this mattress is incredibly soft and bouncy. I don't personally think that this bed will need a topper, but if you were to have one, you can pick them up on Emma Sleep as well. You would just put the protector over the top of that topper, which means that this will help protect against the mattress and the topper. Having a good solid mattress will help improve the quality of your sleep because comfort is king. And I think that if you're sleeping with a mattress that you find puts you into a lot of discomfort, it will remind you throughout the day. I think that it's really important to ensure that first and foremost, you're investing in a mattress that's comfortable. And secondly, if you're not sleeping correctly because you are in discomfort, then it's going to also remind you throughout the day that you're slightly sleep deprived and nobody needs that. It has both a physical and a mental impact on our day to day. And we spend so much time in our beds that it's definitely something that I always advise to anybody invest in. It's so worth the investment because we do spend so much time in it. Now the next item that we're going to quickly talk about is the four season duvet. Now this is genius because I don't know about you guys but there are some times in the summer pre-aircon where we used to have to literally sleep with just the sheet because it gets so hot and sometimes nothing at all because we had a duvet that was very one-dimensional. Now the four season duvet does exactly what it says on the tin. It's essentially two fabrics that pop together and then you can take it down to one throughout the summer months or spring summer months and then double them up throughout the autumn winter. Fantastic idea and uh, I've just unpacked it over here so I'm gonna quickly flick that onto the bed and then we'll find a sheet to put on it. So as you can see, Pop those in and that joins the two, the two duvets together. Always make sure you keep your labels at the bottom of the mattress. Nobody needs any of that at the top. Again, I can show you on this corner. That just pops in like this. And because they're so thin, they just roll up really nicely and you can just store this away throughout the summer months. And then throughout the winter months, it'll be on the bed. So I've just finished off getting the bed ready for Ken this evening. Now something that is really impressive is that Emma Sleep offer a 10 year guarantee on top of a 200 night free trial, which means that even for the most indecisive of you, it gives you ample time to make sure that you're completely comfortable and happy with the Emma mattress, which I think just speaks absolute volumes in the confidence that they have in their products. 
So if you are in the market or you're interested in Emma Sleep, then I will be leaving a link in the description box down below. I'm also pleased to share that I'll be leaving a discount code, which will give you access to 5% discount on top of already discounted prices on their website. Please note that the discount code is valid for those of you in the UK, Ireland and the US. Anyway, I need to go and get the second guest bedroom ready ahead of their arrivals, but if you are in the market or you're looking for any sleep related products or mattresses, definitely go and check out Emma Sleep. I've been really impressed so far and make sure you make the most of that discount code for some extra savings. So one of the tasks that I really need to get on top of because we are fast approaching the big day is to write some Christmas cards and I have a lot to write and so I'm going to break it down into sections. Lyd and I like to put a bit of effort into our Christmas cards and so if I could show you actually these are the Christmas cards that, in all fairness, Lydia designed for us this year. So we've got a beautiful 50-50 wreath of feathers and ivy. And then we also have Merry Christmas from the Mill and Gordons with a blank inside. So we can fill this up with whatever we want to write inside, all those lovely messages. So I'm going to get started on that now. And then once that's been completed, the next task is to Hello, Lummy, seal these all up with a wax seal. Now, We've got a few stamps this year, so for Christmas cards, we'll be going for the MGs because obviously it summarizes all of us, doesn't it, my love? But first things first, let's get writing. On this cold December day, we are on our merry way Riding along just singing a song Barreling through the snow Bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling Rudolph knows where to go On this cold December day Okay, so I'm running out of time. I need to get ready to head off. So I've done a handful of cards and I've just brought in the wax, which has been heated up, ready to seal the envelopes, which are just here. And also pea shoots, which they can grow on their windowsill, work really nicely on eggs and stuff. It's just a nice soft gift just to stick into a card. Lydia had these really beautiful stickers made up that say from our garden, the Mill and Gordons. And so we're going to pop these into a few of the cards and get busy sealing. Well, the production line is going to have to go on hold because I do need to get ready to head out. But as you can see, we have the cards written over here and then we have the cards filled with the seeds ready to be sealed, this section here. And then if I come over to the seat, these are the ones that are completed. You'll see here that we have our wax seals finished and completed. So these ones have got the MG stamp in the middle. Yeah, lovely. I've just quickly freshened up, ready to head down to Covent Garden this evening to Creed's Boutique, first and foremost for a fragrance consultation, which I personally really enjoy going into fragrance shops and really discovering the brand on like a deeper level, understanding why some of the fragrances were developed, what the inspiration behind them was, and then also just exploring new scents because there are so many fragrances often associated with a house and that's brilliant, but it becomes very difficult once you smell a certain number of fragrances for your nose to really absorb and take in what it is you're smelling. I've done one with Creed before about a year or so ago. It was really fantastic. We didn't get through all of their fragrances. And so rather than smelling the fragrances that I'm already familiar with, it would be a great opportunity for me to discover some new fragrances and really try to understand and get my nose into those. So 
that's what we're going to be doing first. We're then going to be going for a candlelit dinner at La Goccia, which I've never been to before. It's an Italian restaurant. I'm assuming around the Common Garden area. And then that will pretty much comprise of our evening. So it's going to be a nice short trip down to London for this. But I thought before I head out, I would quickly show you what I'm wearing. And of course I am wearing a Creed fragrance. This is Green Irish Tweed, a brilliant fragrance. I feel like I've been discussing fragrances a lot on the channel. So we won't go to heavy or too much of a deep dive, but this is a brilliant, brilliant fragrance. One of Lydia's favorites, actually. Um, I'm gonna be taking a pair of dense leather black gloves because I'm wearing a black leather belt from Sage Brown with the gold hardware. Um, I've actually got some black tassel loafers on. <laughs> Do I show you if I go like this? These are from Joseph Cheney and Sons in collaboration with Richard Beadle. Uh, my Tumble and Asa black socks. And then these trousers, it's going to be their first outing to London actually. These are from a company called Wax London. We discussed these when I first picked them up a few weeks ago. I've had them tailored now, um, which you can't see if I just drop the camera. So yeah, as you can see, I've just had them tailored just to touch the um, shoe. So I can get away wearing these with boots, but also they work with loafers. Um, so yeah, happy with these. They've come out quite nicely. And then, let me move us back. I finished off the look with a roll neck from Moss Bros and then the James Purdy and Sons Pico. So that is tonight's look. Feeling very comfortable, very warm, which is very nice. We've not actually had really, really, really cold weather, have we? So I don't feel the need for a scarf or a jacket or anything like that. So it's gonna be a good one. Anyway, I'm gonna jump into the car and make my way down to London. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Very kind of you. I'm just going to vlog a little bit. And that is where we'll be going this evening. First stop. There goes the way. I've just picked up a fragrance, which I'll tell you about later on. We have just arrived to Seedling's restaurant. And there she is. Wow. What's that made out of, Liz? Bamboo? The elephant. We're just over here, my love. Yeah. Oh. Go that way then. Well, as promised, I'm going to share with you the fragrance that I picked up during a Creed consultation. It was a fantastic dinner, really lovely group of people. It was nice to catch up with some familiar faces. Whilst we were in their new store, I was a little bit pushed for time, and so I really went with my instinct, which I often think is probably the best way to pick a fragrance. Something that just instantly hits and you're like, that's the one, you'll just know. And I definitely got this with this fragrance here, which is Himalaya by Creed. And something that I learned actually that I didn't know before whilst I was online looking up this fragrance is that, is that Creed actually plant a tree for every bottle sold online, which I thought was a lovely initiative. I wasn't aware of it, they never informed me of it, but I just saw that on the website and I thought that was a really nice thing to share with you guys because I think it's really lovely when brands do those incentives. But anyway, Himalaya, it's woody, it's a bit citrusy, it's got bergamot and mandarin in it. For me, this is one of these fragrances that just sits in like the luxury category. I'll be wearing this tonight when we go out for our anniversary meal into the theater. I'll be able to wear this fragrance throughout the four seasons. It's really versatile, it's very beautiful. And also I feel like I've not heard anybody really talk about this fragrance before. It's the first time I discovered it whilst in store. And it's a real underdog. I think that if you are ever near a Creed boutique, definitely go in and check out Himalaya because I think that it's one of those fragrances that's still yet to be properly discovered. I may be wrong, loads of you may be like, hey, we've heard about that a long time ago, but it's fantastic, really, really lovely. And then also we were given a very nice Christmas gift on our way out. Thank you very much, Creed, that's very lovely of you. Now I am going to get myself finished off getting ready because like I said, it's our anniversary today, six years Liz and I've been together. 
12 years we've been together, six years we've been married. And so we are going to go and celebrate in London, have a glass of bubbly, and uh, yeah, just um, have a chilled afternoon and evening. Should be nice. I have just finished off getting dressed ahead of this evening's Aston Martin's festive or Christmas dinner, which is going to be taking place at the Cut at Park Lane 45. It's set to be a fantastic evening. I believe we have Ollie Smith doing the wines this evening, which is always a treat. Elliot Grosvenor will be in the kitchen working up his magic. And of course, we'll be with the Aston Martin family. So it's gonna be a lovely evening. Lydia is just finishing off getting dressed herself. But I thought I'd quickly share with you my look. I've gone for quite a pared back look, to be honest with you. We're gonna be getting a car straight to the restaurant and then we're gonna be getting a car straight back. So I don't need to worry too much about functionality tonight because I don't anticipate being out in the cold for longer than 30 seconds. So this is pretty much how I'm gonna be going. I'm going to be wearing the black loafers from Crockett and Jones, which you can hopefully see from there. And then I've teamed this up with a navy suit from New and Lingwood. This is a double breast flannel suit. And then my knitwear today is John Smedley. This is a really nice cream, almost white crew neck. Yeah, that's pretty much my look complete. I'm toying with the idea of taking some kind of neck piece, like a scarf um, or a neckerchief or something, just to add a little bit of detail, but I'm not 100% sure. Sometimes it's nice to just be simplistic, right? And this evening's fragrance is Manhattan. I really enjoyed wearing that the other evening at the Katie Piper Foundation. Um, Christmas carols and so I thought I'm gonna stick it on today as well but anyway we're gonna head down to London and enjoy the evening This is this evening's setup. We've got a lovely little private space at the back of the restaurant. Um, Elliot, alongside his good mate Chris over here, um, put on some <laughs> incredible food for the media launch of DB12 out in the in the south of France. And I think you're going to have an opportunity to savour a, a little bit of that tonight, along with some of the greatest hits of this incredible restaurant and your amazing meat that you do here. And that's going to be paired by the wonderful wine chosen by a man whose passion for Aston Martin, a man who, whose passion for Aston Martin, I think, is only matched by his passion for wine and incredibly loud shirts. That's true. The, the, the columnist, author, television personality, wine lover, Ollie Smith. Ollie, thanks for joining us tonight. And you've chosen what I believe is something. Incredible. I'm so excited, Paul. Seriously, I mean, I love my job. I absolutely adore the world of wine. Elliot's cooking, Elliot's dishes, the team here, all sublime. However, his wines, I think, may be the pinnacle of my wine epic moment. I seriously believe all of them are of a standard that have to be tasted to be believed. So I'll be introducing each one with every course. I'm thrilled to be here. If you've got any questions at all about wine, I'm here for you. And I want to hug each and every one of you because this is going to be the wine extravaganza of our lifetime. So what's the first one? Homemade tagalini with some shaved white truffle. And then the best of all is the tomahawk of Australian wagyu, which is going to be epic. And I'm going to carve it table top. So I hope you have the most amazing time. I'm excited for the wines. I'm going to have to have a little taste as well. <laughs> Don't yeah. leave me out. I would never do that. But no, it's going to be amazing. It's an absolute privilege to celebrate with you guys. Thank you very much. Well, we just bought our crackers and we've got some lovely leather key rings and inside the box celebrating 110 years of Aston Martin we have a bauble which is in green so it's going to go perfectly on the Christmas tree at home and I'm assuming Lids is going to have one which means we have two get your hat on Lids okay 
Very nice. Bon appétit. Thank you. Wow. The roller always smells and feels kind of like Beethoven in your belly. You know, it's got that truffly, tarry, rosy character to it, and yet it has such impact as soon as you sip it. With truffles, it's the classic pairing. Hey, on. Look at me. Leaning over, baby. This is an icon of South America. It comes from vineyards that are more than 3,000 meters high in altitude, so that's pretty much in space. Uh, they, th th what that does for the wine actually is it means the grapes have incredibly thick skins, the ultraviolet light is very intense, there's about 25 degrees between day and night for the temperature, so that really makes these grapes flex, so you get depth, you get fragrance, you get lots of richness. We had a really perfumed wine with Arborolo, really elegant, beautiful wine. This is all about welly. This is one of those unmistakably powerful iterations of red. I'm pretty sure that the alcohol level is above 15%. So you may know about it, not just this evening, but tomorrow morning with your alcohol, it's possible. Best beef in the world, seriously. That looks unreal. Yeah, that, do you want to try a bit? Oh, oh my God, it melted. It's insane. Wow. What did you think? Good flavour? Unreal. Right, we have our mains, which looks absolutely incredible. Oh. Is that okay? Hands everywhere. So we are enjoying a dessert wine. This lovely one with Lotte. Absolutely delicious. Exactly. Vin de Constance. That looks unreal. What a lovely way to finish this video with Aston Martin at Cut, a fantastic restaurant at Park Lane 45. If you're ever looking for a special meal, then definitely go and check those guys out. It's part of Wolfgang Puck's empire and Elliot Grover does a fantastic job at making that restaurant spectacular. So I am going to wrap this video up. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the year and I look forward to seeing you in 2024. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you then.